Here on the show floor, Insight Central, I'm Richard Jennings. I'm Joe McKendrick. And this is Bob Ross from Hello. DCI Data, Data Center, Inc. Um, you say, I'm saying Data Center because you're from Kansas, right? That is correct. Yeah. Hello. Pleased to meet you. Hey. Good to have, good to you, have you here, Bob. Here yeah, Bob, you're the you're CTO and you're the Senior Vice President of Systems and Recovery, right? Yes, I am. And what is it that you do at DCI? Well, I'm responsible for technology systems and uh, the operating systems, the VM and the virtual machines, as well as the SAN storage environment. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, in the banking arena, because we process for banks, it's very important for us to be able to back up and recover our banks uh, in a very timely manner. <laughs> it's banking yes. today, because <laughs> of our ability to use these mobile applications, cannot afford any downtime. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in the event of any type of an interruption or business interruption, it's important to have that. So you're mandated, or the banking industry is mandated to... The banks are, yes. You look at all the amount of data that we contain in our storage mm -hmm. and our uh, systems environment, there's 150 banks. And the wow. value of those banks' assets or deposits is over $18 million. Billion. Excuse Billion. Me. Okay. Billion. Wow. Hmm. Yes. So there's a lot nice. of fiduciary responsibility. Essentially, I mean, would you call yourself an IT as a service provider? Yes. Hmm. Okay. Because hmm. our system works where the banks purchase an agreement to use our banking system, and all they're required to have in their operation is a browser. It's browser based. It's very yeah. unique in this industry because of the ability to take and access all the screens and all the business intelligence required to do the processing of deposits and loans and credit cards and all those things by using a browser. Right. And that is all being rendered from our data center. Mm -hmm. And in a sense, the customer can re do their operation from multiple locations. Now, we don't push that over the public internet mm -hmm. because of mm -hmm. security reasons. Now, we do it on a private network, so we uh, push oh. that across a private network. Well, give, yes. me, give me an idea of size. Well, the size ranges from uh, a $40 million bank all the way up to billion-dollar institutions. Mm -hmm. We also deploy our environment, our system in an in-house scenario. So some of the larger uh, financial institutions may come to us, mm -hmm. and they will say, I want to run my own system. So we will sell them a license to the software we will provision the servers, the Oracle database, and uh, help them with uh, all the setting that up, and they can operate their own IT mm -hmm. uh, as a service in their own world. Mm -hmm. So we can deliver in that format as well. And we have in-house banks. A lot of your right. larger banks prefer to do that. We talk about disaster recovery, and we think hurricanes and uh, earthquakes and so forth, but it, it, it isn't necessarily those big events, right? There's a lot of small events that could also disrupt service, right? Absolutely. I mean, you can have a communications disaster uh, in some regions of the country or wherever the bank may be located, they may have a communications problem. Uh, a data center can have a communications problem. It's always that last mile uh, that has got the <laughs> highest amount of risk. And when you're in the banking industry, we do risk on everything. So how does that, those regulatory relationship work? So the, the, do the banks have to sort of sit in the middle in between the regulators or you, and you? Or is there some way that they simply do a referral? Well, the, the regulators work with both. The bank as an entity is, is regulated and they have uh, times where they go on site and they review all the bank's mm. policies and procedures and processing. And then if they are using a service like ours, of course they're going to hand them my business card or our business <laughs> card and saying, for the rest of the stuff, you're going to have to go talk to Data Center. We have a complete package that we submit to them, mm -hmm. which uh, will fulfill what they're looking for. Mm -hmm. Now, on the other side of the coin, they come and visit us every 18 months. And when they visit us, there's one oh. of every regulatory agency that comes. Oh. The OCC, FDIC, Federal Reserve, and sometimes the state agency will come in, wow. and they can all come yeah. in together. So for two weeks, we'll have anywhere from nine to 11 uh, regulatory auditors running around our facility. Well, at least they're coordinated. You're a previous Hall of Fame award winner, right? Yes, I am. For Innovation Awards. Yes, in 2009, mm -hmm. a winner of innovation. As part of that mm -hmm. is the process of our virtualization and storage process, mm -hmm. and our use of uh, you know the cloud concept mm -hmm. in a private network, and we mm -hmm. call it a private cloud. What other sort of technologies do you use in order to 
bring the desktop to the browser like that? Well, we use uh, the, you know, the VMware tools and okay. the VMware deployment uh, software along with the VMware operating system, which is the ESX operating system. Mm -hmm. uh, the majority of the systems that run within the VMware are the Windows and Linux. Mm -hmm. And on the back side, and we have a multi-tier architecture, we operate our Oracle databases on Unix, which is the Oracle Solaris. Mm -hmm. And that Oracle Solaris is in, in the process of being virtualized today. Mm -hmm. uh, we are in hopes of 2015 having all of our systems virtualized and then by moving to cluster mode within the NetApp environment, we're going to be more versatile in having the cluster mode available to us so we can get more virtualization and the use of our NetApp storage, That's which all that. ties into our DR. Right. And in general, bankers are wanting to get out of the IT business. They want managed IT services, they want managed mm -hmm. services. Well, you have economies of scale, right? With exactly. 150 banking customers. Yes, we do. Bob, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you Thank you very so much. much for those insights into your business. Thank you, Bob. Thank you.